Everyone hold your pants! Ice cream sandwiches melt, but jelly beans last longer. So here it is, the Samsung Galaxy Nexus with Jelly Bean. It's an update to the previous version of Ice Cream Sandwich. Now, I find Jelly Bean to crash less, it's much faster and smoother than Ice Cream Sandwich, and it's also more secure. It protects users' information against prying eyes. The first thing you'll notice is how smooth the OS is. The increased performance is due to Project Butter, which is designed to give a smoother experience to users. It improves the frame rate and lets the CPU and graphics run faster. The touchscreen is also more responsive, so as soon as your finger touches the screen, it could respond quickly. The camera has a face recognition feature, so you can use it to hang out on Google Plus or talk on Skype. With this update, there's an improved notification system and voice search system. Olympics. Using Android Beam, you can share more than just URLs. You can now share photos and videos through the NFC-enabled technology. When it is turned on, you can send someone a photo or video by tapping the devices together. Google's voice is not as sexy as Siri and a bit more serious. Directions to Lee's Deli. Getting directions. One of the darling features is Google Now. You can get it by scrolling up from the home screen. With Google Now, the voice feature does a pretty darn good job of being a personal assistant. You can use it to find a restaurant or check the weather. For example, Google Now checks your GPS and calendar to estimate your commute time. And it makes it easy to find places nearby. Google Play looks interesting. It definitely has its selling points, although it really hasn't gained traction with developers. It allows them to add social layers like Google Plus in their apps. And when there's an update, it just delivers the update, not the entire app. A security feature that's interesting is that it allows paid apps to be encrypted with a device-specific key before apps are installed. In general, Jelly Bean has no lag time when opening apps. It is easy to scroll between different screens, and the UI looks good. The bonus here is that all the entertainment can be viewed offline. This means while all this content is stored on the cloud, you can pin it, so you can listen to your music while you have no data connection. The notifications are easier to read. For instance, if you get notifications like missed calls, you can swipe those notifications away. You can see photos and all sorts of content this way. I think the predictive text is way better than the iPhone. The keyboard autocorrects text, but also predicts words that you'll likely say using contextual analysis. It has a strong offline feature as well, so you can dictate when you don't have a data connection. Although, you do need a data connection to use Google Speech Recognizer to search for things like the Olympics. However, if you put it on airplane mode, you can still use the voice feature to write an email. Jelly Bean is a huge upgrade over Ice Cream Sandwich, but I'm not sure if I'm ready to give up my iOS device for it just yet. It is an acquired taste. But I bet if I spent some time with it, I could get used to this smart personal assistant in the palm of my hands. For Byte, I'm Boonzy Dickinson.